our parts here, but we'd like to know who you're going to fight, so we're going to introduce the fighters to you. we got Bob and Bill here, and from the north of Queensland, and they're a good fighter too. Have a few minutes. Don't fight with the shot, but we're ready to make Jack, I'm sorry about what happened back there in the ring. No, it's all right. No, it's bloody not, Tommy. You always bugger things up. You know why? Because you never pay attention, that's why. <laughs> I was anxious. I thought we'd make enough money on them side bets to get a little side show together, you know? For ourselves. Lord, you die hard, mate. Don't you ever listen to what I tell you? Still reckon we could get ourselves a knock, a dolly, or a shooting gallery, or something like that? You reckon? I mean, it's got everything. Regular income, no work to speak of. Get around the country, see the local shows. Oh, I couldn't stand the excitement. You've got your freedom, but you've still got a roof over your head. I'm going to sleep. Look, for the last time, to have a sideshow, you've got to have a truck and equipment. To have a shooting gallery, you've got to have firearms, rifles. And that takes money. Money! And that's something we don't have plenty of. I don't know. Reckon we started in a small way. Funny of a thing you're saying. What about your teeth?
guy, how you feeling? Oh, what the hell's this? Oh, I tossed him over you after I got up. <laughs> Another night out in the open, you'll end up with pneumonia. When you feel better... Oh, I'll be all right. Sergeant. Is it long? What's it out in the yard? Hmm? About 25. Looks like she's been around a bit. Oh, just a blow in the missus hide. Help out in the kitchen, you know. She's a looker. I just heard the shearers are staying out. So I reckon you blokes better think about moving on. Soon. That is, isn't it? Yeah. Who the hell do you think he is anyway? Huh? Well, I'm not moving. I'm staying. Buggering. I'm staying. Hey, Carney. Look. Your blokes are just passing through. We're looking for work. Not around here. This lot have been lying around for days, waiting for the strike to end. They're running out of time, too. He's not staying out again tonight. <laughs> Where is he going to stay? In the police station. There's plenty of blankets. I'm not scared to swing an axe, you get breakfast. Jeez, thanks, Sarge. That's good of you. My missus is working on the tea store, Mrs. Craig. That I sent you. I thought I might give you a start in the bar tonight. Oh, I'd like that. Hey, that's nice. Well, it's a real nugget, isn't it? Present. Oh, someone must be very fond of you. Hardly knew him. You need some sleep. You reckon you'll be able to sleep? Yeah, I'll be all right. Well, here she is. Now you look after her. <laughs> Have you worked behind a bar before? No. If there's an actor pulling a beer properly, you better keep an eye on me for a while. And we'll keep an eye on her. <laughs> Give the lady a drink, love. On me. What'll you have, love? Come on, we get a bit sick of having nothing but the boss's ugly face to drink with. <laughs> no, thanks. Make it too, then, if the lady won't drink. Cheers. Joycey. Joycey? I'm Keith. This is Dick. Pleased to meet you. Next. Don't drink, eh? No bad habits, Joycey. None at all. Oh, sorry. It should hurt you. Don't know my own strength, my trouble. <laughs> Did I wake you, Dickie? Sure. Sorry about that. Why don't you take your mate's drink? And anything else he's got to offer. You right? Yes, thanks for the moment. Give me a hold Always got to rush it, don't you? 
Take a bit of time we could have been there. You've only got to use your eyes. She's a goer. It's written all over her. Well, what about the vanguard? That's a car. <laughs> Bloody vanguard! At least, at least you can get a couple of sheep in the back seat. Randy, oh, go, go to sleep. Hey, did you get a smell of that kitchen? Come on. Seven. Morning. Morning. I think it's outrageous. Police department's just taking advantage. I'll get an allowance for it. <laughs> Not for my time and effort, we don't. It wasn't a simple Christian charity. No need to bother. I wouldn't do it. Because it's the cross I have to bear. Just sit down. Bringing people in off the streets to make themselves at home in my kitchen. <laughs> my chair. Sorry. Oh, just stay there. Doesn't matter where I sit. Should I move? Just sit down. Where are you? Blessed is the Lord and these thy gifts which of thy bounty we're about to receive through Christ our Lord. Amen. Imagine how much wood I'll get chopped. What about one of those ring the bell things where a bloke hits a thing with a hammer and a little thing flies up and rings the bell? Keep chopping. It wouldn't cost that much, would it? I don't know what you've got against side chase, can't it? All right. Third you keep. Next town's Maranong. 20 mile that way. Thanks for the tucker, Sarge. I'd appreciate it if you don't come back. I like to travel. Oh, around here, it's a big deal just to go into Maranon to church. Look forward to it all week, some of them. Well, maybe they get, I don't know, support from religion. Oh, I'm not knocking religion. I'm a Catholic myself. Almost. Lowen is. Hmm. There's a young Catholic priest over at Maranon now. He's a nice boy. He's the one that started this free sandwiches and tea for the men who couldn't find work. It's a nice idea. Mm hmm. Cheers. Look at you, you're dead in your feet. We ought to go back and see a quack. I'm all right. Oh, yeah, you're great. You hold a bull out to piss, couldn't you? Well, where the hell are you going now? 
You're gonna have a spell, use your brains. Place out a bit, it won't be too bad. What do you reckon? Are you get an agent's commission or something? Well, if you're on the Titanic, it doesn't matter if you travel first class or steerage. <laughs> bad nor, eh? I'm going into town. Got to get you something. It won't be long, Jack. Colton Eskimo's out there tonight. Evening, Jess. What do you have? I'll have a beer, thanks. Hey, boss, uh, what's a bottle of port and a bottle of brandy worth? Oh, different prices, a couple of quid. That's fairly a bit crook, eh? Me, mate. <laughs> well, that'll fix it. You want them now? You haven't got any half bottles, have you? Don't carry them. Not the way they drink around here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll leave it for a minute, all right? Uh, I was wondering if I could buy a drink for the bar. You set him up, mate. We'll drink him. You in the casket or something, pal? <laughs> You might just as well come with me. I'm going to the greasy spoon. No doubt about you, Blake. I don't think I want to toss. Same again for two, Bob. Well, how about we up the ante to say, oh, half a quid? Uh, I don't know. You've got to give a man a chance to get his money back. You do a lot of this, do you? Do what? Set up suckers with a few little losses. Then jack up the ante. Hey, look, we're playing a nice, friendly game. Yeah, well, uh... Don't think we haven't enjoyed it. If you bastards think you can take a man's money... Would you call me? Hold your... 
Never hit anyone with this thing yet. They usually just bar anyone that wants to fight. So you two, over there. And you, down here. If you're after a quiet, peaceful drink, you can have it. Otherwise... It is what comes out of a person that makes him unclean. For from the inside, from a man's heart, come the ideas which lead him to do immoral things, to rob, kill, commit adultery. Away somewhere. So why would you be eating dinner by yourself? What you should do. I like men. Boys know nothing. My wife's not away. She's at the church. I'm waiting to take her home to see her creek. I'm the police sergeant. Though. Charity night again, will you? Why aren't you going to share, Stunger? Better make this the last game. Not exactly crash hot as a con man, are you? I wasn't conning anyone. Sorry. <laughs> well. They were on to you all the time. I was a bit anxious. I need to make it quit fast. Your mate's crook. I wanted to get him some brandy and port. Some what? Port wine and brandy. Mix a tot of each of them together. What's he got, for God's sake? The mange? Flu, I think. What are you trying to put him down painlessly? <laughs> Look, I wouldn't worry about the port, but the brandy might help. Drink it, gents. Last one. Right, I'll have a bottle, thanks. Mr. Lyon, this gentleman wants a bottle of brandy. One for the road? Yeah. All right. I spoke to you last night. My name's Tommy. Tommy Martin. Joycey. Just Joycey? Is that enough? You're a very pretty girl. Got a sort of look about you. Oh, yeah. You know, ladylike. <sighs> Thanks, I think. It's just on closing time. I thought I might walk you home or somewhere. You know what I think? 
I think you'd better get back to your mate. <clears throat> About halfway there, it's 12 and 6 a bottle. Can I have the rest until... Give it to the missus. Tell her to stick it back in stock. Finish your drink, we're closing. All right, boys, come on. service, was it? It was very moving. Please don't do that, Keith. What are you doing here? I bought it from Mrs. Lowen. You can owe me for it. That's very kind, but I couldn't. Don't be silly if your mate's that sick. Well, thanks. You wouldn't come and have a look at him, would you? You're a woman. You'd know what to do. Where have you got him? In a shack, just outside of town. <laughs> Thanks. He won't listen. And you're in there drinking. Oh, he's freezing to death out here in this rat hole. Well, I didn't know. I had to get the brandy, didn't I? Get the fire going. And some water. Got any rags? Rags. You know what to do? I come from a big family. Bloody hell. Come on, just a little bit more. Joycey? Get your blanket. He's warm enough, you want to know? No, no, it's all right.
been a long day, Keith. I've just come back from church. What's that got to do with it? It's Lent. We should all practice restraint. It's been Lent for three months. Jesus Christ. And that's blasphemy. Good night, Keith. Keith? Good night. Yeah. Feeling better? Yeah, fine, fit as a trout. There's not much here to eat. Oh, let me help. Pretty well. I know. Were you here all night? Most of it. Was that delirious, wasn't it? No, I wouldn't think so. Why? <laughs> well, I had this sort of dream. Really? Now, you promise to stay in bed till it warms up a bit. Later on, you can sit in the sun, right? Right. I better feed you, mate. By the way, I'm Joycey. Right. Tommy! I'm here. Breakfast ready? I usually get me own. It's on the table. I'm going down the creek to clean up a bit. Yeah, I would. You've got a nice sense of humour, you know that. Stew's burnt. No, it's okay. I reckon you'd think so. How much bite you? No. Should there be? I don't know, is it? I'm bloody disgusted, that's all. What about? You. Man your age and a young girl like that. <laughs> well, what do you know? You make me sick. Better get to work. Oh, that's all right. I can look after him. I want to thank you for helping him last night. Pleasure. I told him off, you know, for taking advantage. Oh, yeah? He's just a bit delirious, you know. I, I don't really think he knew what he was doing. Right. I'll get my things. Do you want to walk me back to town? Right, eh? What do I owe you? Carney had a bit stashed away in his cunning kick. He's packed your bag, Joycey. Why? Well, he got all worked up when I told him about you buying the bottle of brandy for that young bloke. 
And then when you didn't come home last night, he jumped to conclusions. Well, his mate was sick. I was looking after him. Oh, don't tell me, love. It's none of my business. All I know is Rowan's got the knife into you for some reason. And what happened? Well, I could make a fuss. Tell him that he has to keep you on if that's what you want. There you go, darling. This is your lucky day. Why she's moving in? No, just for a couple of days. Why is she going to sleep as if I didn't know? Well, what do you want me to do? Tell her to buzz off? No, just bloody well behave yourself. That's all. <laughs> so you lost a new girl? Yeah, well, you heard what she got up to. Shacked up with us. So I heard. Well, I had to let her go. Kind of a tart behind the bar. Can you? Thanks. If she shows up again, I want to know about it. All those two blokes she's with. Yeah, sure. You in the cot. Just thought I'd sit up for a while. Ended up bloody sick again, I suppose. He's right. We should all be in bed. No arguments. Hey, fair go. Shouldn't you be doing that outside? It's not getting undressed out in the cold. Haven't you two got any bloody modesty? Ripping your clothes off like. I'm going outside. Give us a yell when you're finished. <laughs> <laughs>
Let me get him out. <laughs> Yeah. You've got to get as much mud out of them as you can. Hey, look at the size of that one. <laughs> you know what I reckon? Fruit picking would be the answer. Well, you reckon you could handle it? It's pretty tough physical work. <laughs> and dirty. There's worse. And dirtier. Yeah, I suppose there is. And I've done it. You know what I've been? A prostitute. I think I know everything that's important to know about you, Joycey. But it's not what a person's been. It's what you are that counts. They say confession's good for the soul. <laughs> Don't you believe it? Mostly it's a pain in the ass. I've been thinking, there's a fair chance this is Crown land. More than likely, we could stay here as long as we wanted. Probably. Well, I was wondering how you'd feel if I was to ask Joycey to stay on, too. What do you got in mind? You're not thinking of taking advantage of that girl, are you? Just because... Now listen, Tommy, all I'm saying is, we tell her she can stay if she wants to. All right, that's all. So long as that's all you're saying. Are you? Why not? You're shy. No. Where's Jack? Resting. He still needs building up a bit. Bit fond of him, aren't you? Yeah, suppose I am. He makes me laugh. That's pretty rare. <laughs> You're pretty, you know that? What? I said you're pretty. What have I done? I'll go and get some. No, you stay here. If you want to say something, I'll ask you something. <clears throat> we were saying that uh, we, we all seem to get along well together, and you think we're all right too, and we feel the same about you. It's okay to stay, if you want to. On one condition. You mean you will? The first sign of jealousy. If you ever fight over me, for whatever reason, I go. All right? Right. All right? All right. Because I wouldn't want you to change or anything on account of me. Got hold it? Yeah.
want you to change or anything with a can of meat. things we need. Caro, teak, sugar. I'll we'll get anything you need. I'll get you some money. No. It's silly. If I've got money, I ought to pay my share. Now, Tommy's right. We can't take your money. But we might borrow a few, Bob, for bait. How about a chance to get even? Up the stakes a bit. Oh, I don't know. I'm not much of a player anyway. I'm not talking about a fortune. I'll say, uh, say five bob a head. How about a quid a head? This is a private game. What do you reckon, Donna? We accept these blokes' challenge? Us against them? With a head. You gotta be joking. This bloke can't play for peanuts. I beat you. Just to keep it honest. Well, let low and here hold the stakes. These two seem a bit confident. Just sink balls. Just sink balls. Sorry, partner. Thank you, gentlemen. On. It'll be closed in time in a couple of hours. You want us to come back tomorrow? <laughs> How about that? Terrific. One. What colour's next? Any bloody colour. How about the blue? Oh, look. Poker face, aren't you? You reckon? Seven. Thirty. Forty. Ninety. Twenty. Twenty-seven. I take it you concede the game. Like bloody hell. You conned us. Oh. Hey, hey, come on. Come on. Oh. 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 All right, that'll do. Come Take on. it up. You're a lucky fella. Well, the rest of you boys can go home. Go on. There it goes. Go on, move it. Go on, get it. Shout it. All right, all right. No need to kick a man. He's not a bloody...
Bloody job. You two next. You blokes don't move till they're out of town. Shift the dong in. Thanks, Sergeant. A beer? Three beers, one for yourself. I think you're trouble, Carney. All we want is a fair go. We've got this little place. I've heard about the place. And I know who's there. What I want to know is how you intend to live there. If we could get the work, we would. Times are tough around here. The blokes out there want work, and the farmers are having a bad season. There's no love lost between them at the moment. It wouldn't take much to put them at each other's throats. Just don't let it be you two who do it, or I'll come down hard. It's so hard you want to hit you. Thanks for the beer. Bowen. No more. How much have we got left? Oh, three quid. And a bit of silver. I'm gonna buy a present. What are you two up to? What do you got there? Oh, just something we picked up in town. Let's set her up. What is it? I found my phone. You like it? Does it work? Of course, it's got batteries. Got a record too. You really like it? It's marvelous. That's good. What Tommy's trying to say is, it's a present from us to you. For me? Thank you. May I have the pleasure of this dance, young lady? <laughs> Ginger Rogers. <laughs> Get your own, son. Oh, 
morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning, dear. If I paid for two now, could you let me have the other one until I... Oh, no, dear. I'm sure you'll understand. It's just... Well, you are a stranger. Yeah. I understand. I could put him away for you. No. I'll have to think of something else. Oh, well. present for the sweetest girl in the world. I sent off to Sydney for it. It's a real gold nugget. And I thought, later tonight maybe, you might like to give me a little present. God! Cure warm. That'll be warm as toast. They're my present to you. It must have cost a fortune. Lady at the store, Mrs. Gansman, let me have them cheap. Well, why would you do that? Factory second, she called. Never underestimate the power of a woman. It was nice shopping like the other loon. You wouldn't want to do it every day, though, would you? You like being married. Good dry up, Tommy. What did I say? Tommy's shook on you. Is he? What about you, Jack? Oh, I'm a bit old for that. A bit past it, aren't I? Are you? I'm twice your age. Well, what's age got to do with it? I don't know. Can I tell you something? without hurting you. I suppose so. I'm very fond of Tommy. I think it's more than that. Maybe it is. But you can't accept that I could love you too. You're very wise, Jack. And very stupid. I want anyone feeling sorry for me. Stupid.
ci ya ba. Ay! So help me, I, I found it by the side of the road. Car must have driven over it. Dead it was. Good. Do you know what they do to sheep stealers? Well, it's not yours. Half of it. What? I'll give you half of it if you shut up about it. Jesus, are sleeping around like a mad thing. You'll scare a man to death. Jack, he's gonna miss one sheep. There's millions of them. I might have known you'd stick up for him. It's a free bit of tucker, isn't it? Doesn't matter where the hell it comes from, just like your blankets. What do you want about? What about the bloody blankets? Tell him how you got the blankets, Joycey. I bought them. I know you bought them. Tell him how you got the money, or do you think I'm so bloody innocent? What the hell I don't are you on about? What's he talking about? Forget it. No, I want to know about the bloody blankets. It doesn't matter. No. You tell him. He's trying to tell you that I hoard for them. What? Did you? Well, what if I had? I've done it before. All right, you say you didn't. We accept that. You accept it. You don't believe it, but you'll accept it. I didn't mean that. I'm leaving this place. I'm getting out of here now. Oh. Got a good price for my load. Good price. Wouldn't mind celebrating, if you know what I mean. I have to see Lone to fix up about my room. I'll come with you. No, you wait here. I need five pounds. Five quid? All right. Gave it away, sort of. You gave it away? Well, I bought it. Do what I like with it. Is Mrs. Lyon about? Oh, uh, listen, you don't want to make trouble for me. I just want my room back. Well, we'll have to see about that. If you want your own room, we'll build one for you. We'd like you to come home. moment. Here's your money back. Hi. What's the matter, mate? It ain't been to girlfriend. Girlfriend? She's a prostitute. A bloody tart. Distinctly. The woman's a common prostitute. Well, I don't know about common. Not too many more out, eh? I don't think it's funny, Keith. Look, she probably is. As long as there's no trouble, what's the matter? Matter? Could be a good thing in a way. Keep a lot of blooded young blacks away from the decent girls. That is disgusting. taken in adultery, and they set her in the midst, and said to him, Master, this woman was even now taken in adultery. Now Moses, in the law, commanded us to stone such a one. But what sayest thou? And this they said, tempting him, that they might accuse him. 
But Jesus, bowing himself down, wrote with his finger on the ground. And when therefore they continued asking him, he lifted himself up and said to them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Going into town. Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. Yeah, gonna get some work. Where, for God's sake, there isn't any. Well, maybe that's why we're gonna try. Well, they can't blame us for looking. Well, wait for me. I'm coming too. What's the time? Somewhere. I'll try the shop. Get that thing out of here. It's crawling. I want to know what you're going to do about it. I'll burn the bloody thing, you don't get it out of here. I found it shoved under a rock near the shack. It has to be them. Could have been anyone. Any no-hope person, too. Well, those two no-hopers at the shack. Or those two. Sorry. Or if you knew of something. There's no work anywhere. It needn't be in town. I've done some kitchen work. We know what you've done. There's no work for the likes of you. I see. Thank you. I'm sorry, Charlotte. One of my lambs slaughtered it for meat. It's an olive. Oh, come off it, mate. Mr. Carter reckons he found the skin of a lamb. Reckons a nothing. I found it. You can't blame us for your own stock losses. You shut up, too. You get your chances later. Will we? Well, Crow, what are you going to do about it? Taking him down the station for questioning. Oh, questioning? Well, what do you blokes want me to do? Hang on. Good idea! Right. There you go. What they do, Sarge? <laughs> yeah, good for him there, mate. You can eat the cockroaches. Yeah, it looks like bread and water for you, blokes. Give me a paper, you What are you galahs looking at? Blake just gave you half a lamb out of the goodness of his heart. Well, country people are supposed to be famous for their hospitality. Could have been his. Well, let's just say I'm offering you that famous country hospitality. You're locking us up. Your own good and mine. I'll let you out of here. I wouldn't be responsible for your safety. We'll worry about that. It's also the matter of my job. I like it. It's a good little town. As long as you don't upset the farmers. You weak sod. Well, you find out how weak I am. Come on. Congratulations, Tommy. Those few kind words improved his humor quite a lot. Stuffy.
Maybe I could talk you into it. Sudden change of heart, isn't it? Don't push your luck. Just be grateful. We're grateful. Oi. Be better if no one saw you leave town. Yeah, better for who? Everyone. I'm telling you, you've got two choices. You can get out of town. I won't be sorry to see you go. You can stick close to that shack of yours. Wait for the magistrate to come around. A sexual act is a beautiful and a blessed thing, Mrs. Crow. Designed by God to ensure the continuation of the human race. Now, this repugnance you feel towards your husband is contrary to God's great plan. Now, you must give yourself freely and in love, or never in lust, but in the knowledge that even this can be a sacrifice, and a highly acceptable sacrifice, too. I'll try, Father. I'll try. You only knew. <laughs> Please, Mrs. Crane. Please. Go in peace, my child. Uh, you best go out the back way. I look at this see me around town. Don't worry. Yeah, hang on. I got what I bargained for. I know. I just want to do the right thing. Let me help. You've helped enough already. Well, fair go, mate. She did it to get us out, and you know it. What's going to keep us out? Unless, of course, you've got a regular arrangement with a copper. I'll say this for Crow. He might be a copper, but he's honest. Which is more than I can say for some people. He took what he wanted, and he paid for it. And at least he had the grace to be ashamed. Did you? Where are you going? I'm going to sort the bastard out. Crow? Crow. Piss off.
Shouldn't the police move her on? I mean, your husband... My husband you... is very busy. If you don't want to come, any of you, just say so now. She's got two men with her. We can't make them go away. We can talk to her as a delegation. Convince her to leave. That's all we do. But what if she refuses? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I think it's time we got moving. All right, then. I think so. Serious about this? I've had a gutful. She's a good girl, Tommy. Why not? Kai? Yeah? Sometimes I wish we weren't mates. you ladies? Yes, you can. You can leave our town. We don't want prostitutes here. You live here with two men and you give yourself to both of them. Who do you think you're talking to? Get out of here, all of you. This is my home. Oh. Leave them oh. alone. In the dirt where they belong. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Why don't you let your husband drive me out, Mrs. Crow? He's the law around here. We're not after trouble. We're looking for Crow. You're going the wrong way. He's in the pub. It was your lamb they stole. Do you want to start? Yeah. I'll take the old one. <laughs> I thought you might. I'm warning you. Any fighting, and whoever's involved's barred. We'll have to bar every drinker you've got in the pub, Lowen. Right. 
Well, let's have a drink before we're by. Set him up, Mr. Lone. You're not going to talk your way out of this one. Nothing unsatisfied he'd like but to beat the hell out of it. I know, but there's no need to rush into it. Yeah, well, let's get it over. God! Hey! 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 You're barred! You're barred! You're all barred! each other. Yeah, let's go. going to treat us any different somewhere else? No. It's because of me. No, it's not you. It's us. The three of us together. And I just can't take that. I live in a crummy little community where everyone knows everyone. They all toe the line till they get behind their own doors. And they can't take it because of what we've got. Had. What we had? For God's sake, what do we have? A bloody ramshackle hut and half a day's tucker. Is that all we had, Tommy? We'll have to split up. Us? No, Jack doesn't mean that. He means me. I can't come with you. I'm not going to leave you here. They're not going to change overnight. They'll treat you like... Will they? I know enough about them and their precious copper to shut most of them up for life. You're lucky I saved a bit of your gear. You better get going. Well, we'll be off. All right. We'll see you. Yes. Bye, Tommy. You buggered things up this time, didn't you? Well, I could cheerfully flatten you, mate. I wouldn't try it if I were you. I might let you get away with it. Yeah, right. Well, chuck your swag down and let's settle it now. I wouldn't need to put it down. Put it down, bugger you! Don't try it, Carney. You'll be sorry. Right, then. There's a turn off up ahead. I want to say something. She was the only beautiful thing that ever happened to me. Doesn't matter what she was. To me, she was pure. I suppose that means I love her. I know.
Right then. I'll see you. Yeah, good luck. Take us far as Moorlamba. You could work there with a bloke by the name of Johnson. God help you. Yeah. I don't know to see you back here now. What do you want me to do, Sarge? Who's playing for the beer, Sarge? I mean, they didn't. Just you get the slack blowing. I know I'm a lot older than you. I won't ask anything from you. I'll get a job. We can settle down and get married if you like. You miserable old bugger! You're too late, mate. I've told Joyce I'm gonna marry already. Bloody fine, mate. You turned out a man's back's turned What fine, about you? You have to run all the way, puffing and bloody wheezing your old man's leg. I'll give you a no, man! Stop it! Stop it! I'm not marrying you, Jack. Yeah. All you. I'm not marrying anyone. I try to explain it to you, but you're both too stupid to understand. So thanks for the offers, but I'm leaving. By myself, the way I came. And you're going together. We've, we've, we depend on each other. We've, we've done things for each other. Joyce is... Look, it's the way it's got to be. I mean, it's up to the both of us to give you what you need. I don't need anything. You've admitted it to yourself that between the two of us, we practically add up to one decent man. Well, that's the man that needs you. I... Jack doesn't think of it. No way. I'm going to go tramping through the bush for the rest of my life with a toothbrush and a blanket. And you said yourself, no one's going to let us settle anyway. I've been thinking about that, too. Oh, yeah. You depend on Jack. I've always been keen on getting a little carnival act together. You know, like a side you show. You what? Yes, it's great. You know, the people, you meet them, they're open-minded, they, they mind their own business. It's a good, clean life. You see the country and you've got some security. Hey, listen, I've been trying to tell you that for years. Look, see. I don't know anything about cars. You can't go wrong if you do what I tell you. Now, listen, you want a big drum. Boom, boom, boom. You want a big drum. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 